mentioned that our, our plan is now to do a variety of segments to keep things, you know, like interesting and fresh. We're going to do, is if I understand, the exact same segment that Tanner did on the show last time. Well, one of them. Yeah. All right. So that, that's, that's the... That's fine. That's safe. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so that segment is the question jar, and uh, this is the theme to the question jar. No context, just give us a sound bite. Gabriele Denunzio. And you can't say girl. Oh, Don't say girl. Oh, I was thinking of Gabriele Denunzio. Denunzio. <laughs> a lot of Salvador Dalla. In what way? I Gabriele like Denunzio. Oh, you know what? Gabriele 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 Denunzio. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> That's the new thing into the question jar. Oh, I'm so happy that you've Featuring. been spending your time doing this. Yeah, I, I, I spent about like five hours making that today. That is worth, worth, that is worth starting uh, in half hour late. Yeah, I actually completely agree. That was well worth it. Uh, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> Uh, well, it was very uh, fortunate because right. I was like, oh, we've only really had the like the fascist question twice. And then I remembered that the the recording we did on Monday, um, we kind of alluded to it. And then we started getting into like, who is the sexiest fascist? And that's kind of. <laughs> is that where the Alex Jones uh, clip came from? Or was that? From that's where one? everything other than uh, Tanner, Josie and Lucas's <laughs> answers came from. Oh, no, Josh's was from that, too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what it was anymore, but I'm sure it'll never be used against me in a court. <laughs> Neat. Well, so if this you never do a second. fascism, then you're fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> We're pretty so safe the, then. Yeah, uh, Nicole, do you want to explain the format of the segment? Uh, yeah. So, format of the segment, we're going to draw a question from the question jar. Um, I believe... Is the, is the rule that you have to answer the question? Or well, is that... That, that was my rule, and then you kind of shot it down, saying, no, you get to withdraw your consent at any time. So Yeah, that's fair. I, I stand by that. Consent is important. Um, yeah, I don't so think we gonna... have any profoundly cursed questions yet, other than the <laughs> our kind of post hoc, <laughs> who's your favorite fascist one? <laughs> other than the <laughs> one that you made our entire thing, question jar theme out of? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, cool. Good. Just checking. <laughs> but he's already answered that one, and I feel like if he gets a duplicate, we'll just yeah, then we have to move on. Pass. Yeah, fair. It's like okay. if, if he gets a do if he gets a duplicate and he can give an equally thorough answer, it's like then we start to have problems here. <laughs> yeah, you can, if you, you can keep <laughs> listing these off, I'm gonna start getting worried. <laughs> he's got a new favorite fascist. He's like, I actually just learned about this one. I've been doing some reading since I saw <laughs> it. He's alive and well. He has a he has a page on Telegram. Oh boy, yeah, he's got a PhD from what Canadian <laughs> University? Jesus, that's that's honestly the great thing about fascism is there's always new fascists to get into. Mm. In fact, these days there seems to be more and more every day. So like we could just do we would we call that fast fashion? Fash fashion fast fashion. Boom. Fashion. The fact that it took you multiple tries there, I think kind of diluted the joke a little bit. That's fine. Do it again. We'll get it clean. I'll edit out everything before that. No. Don't you dare. Would you call that fast fashion? Can so you do, can here's you like what a little ding with like, like a little like star like. I love. Yeah, I, I would love to do more editing. That would be really cool. <laughs> I know it's your favorite thing. I know that's how yeah. you love to spend all your time. Clearly, look at the theme you just made. Mm-hmm. Five hours well spent. Mm -hmm. No, making stuff is fun. Editing stuff sucks shit. Fair. Yeah, so, can confirm. I'm going to pull a little bit of an audible here because, so our the original premise was that if the guest answers a question, for every question they answer, they get to put a new question in the jar. And everyone else answering the same question was kind of incidental. Since there's no more guests, all my homies hate guests, everyone is just a <laughs> co-host. What I'm thinking we could do is we all pull out, like, let's do four questions. So we'll pull out one for each of us. Uh, we can maybe peer pressure the others into answering. But once you answer your question, that entitles you to add one more to the jar. And this way we'll end up adding four and the jar will get interesting quickly. Okay. That sounds good to me. All right. So should we go in the same order we just introduced ourselves in or? Yeah, sure. I might as well open us.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do that There's right that ASMR down. for the crowd there. Shake that jar till the white stuff comes out. White stuff being paper. <laughs> That's my joke. Moving on. Moving on. Hey, we could put the questions on the on the dice cam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I guess I'll uh I can't remember which one it is here. We have too many. There it is. Aha. I can remember how to do production. Oh boy, we can't read that at all. (laughs) Mission fucking accomplished. All right, what does it mean? All right, Josh, here's your question. All right. Would you rather do burps that sound like farts or farts that sound like the noise Tim Allen makes at the start of Home Improvement? Oh, 100% the latter. Like if I'm just sitting there like trying to do like a silent fart in like an elevator or something, you just hear, (laughs) that's going to make my fucking day. As the rest of the passengers all gag and die, I'll be killing myself laughing. Yeah, no, 100% the latter. I want my farts to sound like that Tim Allen noise. (laughs) <laughs> do, 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 do. I think, do, do, I think do. that's the uh, I think that's a safer option because you could always just blame Tim Allen. Yeah, but like, uh, and like honestly, that. he's kind like, of a did, piece did, of shit. Did anyone so. else see Tim Allen? Just, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd be like, <laughs> fucking Tim Allen again. God yeah. damn it! First he's fucking weirdly Republican, and actually not weirdly. I can totally have seen that coming a mile away, and now he's fucking stinking up elevators. What do you think he's going to come out with a podcast called? Like country improvement or um, no, no, it's gotta be house, something like house gotta, improvement. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a, it's like a podcast on, um, like uh, not Senate, uh, Rep- House of Representatives reform, and he calls. Yeah, it he house does not care about the Senate. He doesn't. No, <laughs> no, 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 no about comments the about the Senate at all. Just House of Representatives. Mm-hmm. He's a pure. Tim Allen is my favorite fascist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Well, I think that's that question answered then. God love. Wait, me. which one did you pick? You wanted the farts? I wanted the farts to sound like Tim Allen. Yeah, like come on, okay. I feel like that's a gimme. Yeah, I, I guess you're big on like putting people in the back foot and like. Oh yeah, completely not making people uncomfortable. To be comfortable. Yeah. Does it come fair. with all the tool noises as well that the song <laughs> came with? Yeah, like the like the I'm thinking actually the red green duct tape sound, which is oh. way better. Yeah, that would be a good fart That'd noise. That'd be a good fart noise. Yeah, yeah. That's That might unfortunately be lost on any American listeners, but... You know, yeah, I, I don't know, awesome. I guess. I've probably only watched like two episodes of Home Improvement in my whole life, um, but I do remember as a kid renting uh, from Blockbuster the Super Nintendo Home Improvement game. I know. We, I didn't I know, know that was a thing. We there sang was a some. Home yeah, game. there was. Yeah, and like the tools were like his weapons. I don't remember much about it. I was a small, small child at the time. Um, but yeah, there was totally a video <laughs> game of of Home Improvement. Oh my god, I hate that so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I watched a lot of Home Improvement as a kid because I was at my grandparents' house a lot, and uh, they didn't have any fun movies to watch, and we only had two channels. So yeah, it was um, it was called Home Improvement Power Tool Pursuit incredible okay and it was, that's a solid it was, name it was released in 1994 um oh yeah and so players weapons include modified tools this is a nail gun a blowtorch used as a flamethrower and a saw which hurls energy waves these weapons <laughs> are used to fight dinosaurs acid spewing mummies robot sentries and other enemies the game's broken down into four worlds of four levels each world containing a boss the game had no real instruction manual in its place a fake manual was used with a sticker reading real men don't need instructions a message oh which God. also appears on the splash screen. <laughs> oh my um, God. <laughs> um, Holy Christ. And considering how esoteric a ton of like that shovelware uh, Super Nintendo game stuff was, the, you were probably just fucked if you if you bought that as a kid and just like, you're just like, <laughs> how do I play this? Uh, get fucked, you know, buddy. <laughs> and you know, like it's, I'm just looking at its, its reception, its ratings right here. Not bad. Slightly above average. People, uh-huh. uh, people were receptive of the uh, of the home improvement video game. Incredible. I don't know if I don't know if any later consoles continued with the franchise, though. That doesn't sound like it. I mean, <laughs> real money makers. So I'm not sure why. <laughs> That's very good. All right. I, I also watched a lot of home improvement, um, but it was because I had a tiny crush on Jonathan Taylor Thomas. So <laughs> I mean, fair. <laughs> fair. Is that the neighbor? Or? No, that's one of the kids. Oh, yeah. Wilson. <laughs> 
Yeah, so, something with those eyes and that bucket hat. <laughs> right? Okay, well, I guess, yeah, I guess we've answered that and more now. So I guess it's on to the next person. Well, I crack yeah. another beer. Which of your pop culture opinions is most likely to get you shunned if you voiced it publicly? So voice it publicly. Mm-hmm. Which of my pop culture opinions is likely to get me shunned? Man, I wish I would have gotten this one. I think here, I, I guess I have one. I guess this counts as pop culture. Um, I One thing I would still stand by is that there are some bangers released in the genre of Christian rock. They're there. They're definitely there. They exist. Mm-hmm. The Newsboys had some. DC oh, Talk them had some. Um, yeah, there was some good stuff in there. And I know people don't want to admit it, but it's true. Were you a big TFK fan back in the day? I was. The The first concert I ever went to was Plus One. Um, are we all familiar with Plus One? I don't know that one. They were like a basically a Christian version of in sync incredible think, yes. or no i guess i guess there was i think there was four of them so i guess would that be more like the backstreet boys it sounds like minus one <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, yes. but, um, yeah that was the first concert i ever went to so i was big into them i was big into the news boys um i i basically like only listened to like christian music until i was like i don't know probably like 12 or 13 um so i'm 90 90- Five percent had... sure I saw the Newsboys in concert, so I get it. Jealous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they went to YC one year. Yeah, and that, you I, and I went. When I when I got to see someone riding on the hood of someone's car after the Edmonton Oilers won their uh, game against the Anaheim Ducks because they were oh, yeah. beside the school bus and they were drunk on the hood of their car while their buddy was driving it. Sick. It's like good, good, good image for a bunch of either Christians or wanna be Christians on a school bus. <laughs> oh, that's a little judgy, Josh. Wanna be Christians. I mean, I was not there for pure reasons. <laughs> hmm Why were you, mean, you like, there? Two- I wanted to go to music. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna <laughs> I was there. pick up chicks. I was there because I wanted to go to heaven. So Ah, there, yeah. see that's a pure reason. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this was like two thousand six playoffs kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was during the playoff God, those run. Were good days. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, my answer to that question is uh, Wes Anderson sucks. That is a very hot take. Sticking to it. Mine is that uh, Disney has done irreparable damage to film that almost completely cancels out their contributions to the animation genre. That's 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 too much thinky for me. <laughs> I'd have to process that but to really decide if I I don't think it's going to get you shunned I think like half of people agree with you What? what's the single biggest sin that Disney has committed uh, creating a pseudo monopoly around film and using it to pressure theaters into taking smaller cuts thus driving small theaters out of business oh I was I was thinking you were just going to tell me a movie that you really hated <laughs> no no I really hate Disney like at a base <laughs> level <laughs> Yeah, Josh has given sincerity our answers to the question jar questions. <laughs> I mean, I would say more, but I might actually get in trouble for uttering threats. This is not the crowd for it, but I recently got shunned for saying that love actually stinks, so. I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's also becoming a very mainstream opinion. Yeah. Uh, I've never I've never seen it, but I know the meme where he's holding the, the signs. Is that from Love Actually? Yes, yeah. Okay. That's all I know about it. Yeah. That's a yeah, that was I recently saw a video that pointed out how awkward that is because he's like standing at this woman's door and he has this, his first sign says, say that it's carolers because her fiance is home and he's about to like say some shit that he doesn't want her fiance to hear. <laughs> and so he like presses play and he's like, I was like, that's a fucking weird thing to do. <laughs> I mean, really? if is you the, look into is most- the whole um, is the whole plot presented by him presenting cards of what's happening? Yes. Or is there more to the movie? Yeah, it's just like that. The whole movie is just like that Bob Dylan music video where he's just dropping the cards <laughs> yes. real fast. And yeah. It's just explaining what's Perfect. been happening. Yeah, real bad. I mean, most rom-coms, especially if you look at the ones that are made like 20 plus years ago, mm. you watch them with a fresh mindset 
of not being like 10 mm-hmm. and being you're like that's that's kind of fucked up actually yeah like 99 percent of the time <laughs> even how i met your mother it's not even that old and i'm like oof like, yeah like barney fucking sucks and i know get that that's the joke it's like oh he sucks he like lies to women isn't that hilarious i'm like uh the no the aughts yeah the aughts Well, we ought to do Nicole's question, which is, what is your favorite joke? Um, oh, that's a good one. Oh, okay. My 10-year-old cousin told me this one. It's not going to be as funny when I tell it, but it's my favorite joke right now, so I'm going to tell it anyways. So there's these three guys, and they end up on a desert island. Um, And they rub this lamp. Genie comes out, says, you each get three wishes. First guy says, I want to be super rich. Genie goes, boom, done. Second guy goes... Yep, me too. I would like to be loaded and have a giant house. Boom. Done. Third guy goes, I want for the rest of eternity for my right arm to spin clockwise forever. And the genie goes, boom. Done. Goes back to the first guy. And the guy goes, you know what? I want a beautiful wife. Boom. Done. And the second guy goes, I would love a family. Boom. Done. So the third guy goes, I would like my left arm to go counterclockwise, counterclockwise like this for the rest of my life. Boom. It's done. Third. So that goes back to the first guy. The first guy goes, you know what? I'd really like to be able to help people out. I'd like to start a charity. Boom. It's got a charity. It's successful. Second guy goes, yeah, you know what? I'd really like to give back as well. I'd like to start like a um, grassroots community garden. Boom. He's got it. Third guy goes, I would like for my head to keep bobbing like this for the rest of my life. Um, And the genie goes, yep, boom, it's done. And so uh, three years later, they all meet up and they're sitting in a bar. And the first guy goes, you know, I've got a beautiful wife. I've got all the money I could spend. I can... Put up, funnel all this money into uh, this charity that I really care about. My life's been really fulfilling. I couldn't be happier. Second guy goes, yeah, you know what? Like, I've got this beautiful family. Um, I really feel connected to my community. I've got, like, enough money that we're creating these initiatives that are saving the earth. I just, like, I've never felt better. I'm so happy that this happened to us. And the third guy goes, I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> Anyways, that's my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. I, yeah, and we were all sitting there watching and we're just, and it's, he took like, and of course he's a kid, so he took like fucking 20 minutes to tell this joke. <laughs> and we're waiting for the punchline. I'm like, what's he gonna, like, why would he do that? There's gotta be some sort of stupid reason. And then it's like, no, he's just. Is that dumb? An idiot. Yeah. I, <laughs> like, did he just cut, did he come up with it himself? I don't think so, but. Did you did you preface that by saying that 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 this is who told it to you? I think I yes. missed that part. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I missed that you were you were reporting a joke to us, and I thought that this <laughs> this was the joke. Okay, yeah, that that's All what right. Nicole spent the last five hours working on was that. Joke. <laughs> it's like it's like I want to I want to be nice. I want to laugh. Uh, I, I I have one that's a lot shorter. Um, All right. Yeah, let's hear it. I don't. I don't think I would have told it last time. But if I did, just pretend. Um, do you do you guys know the 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 main ingredient that you need to make pickle bread? Is it pickles? Is it bread? Oh, I'm yeah, lost. I don't know. What is it? What is the main ingredient that you would use to make pickle bread? Dill dough. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. That, that would have been really relevant last time. <laughs> oh, man. That's why. That's why I was thinking. I was like, did I tell this last time? Because that would have been the time to tell it. So, anyway. Oh. <laughs> My personal favorite is a horse walks into a bar and a bartender just asks him why the long face. Boom! Classic. Classic. Instant classic. Right. Up there with. I don't know any jokes. Last question: uh, Would you rather be a queen bee or a queen ant? Mm. I, don't, I don't know if I know enough about animals. I'm going to answer wrong. 
There is no wrong answer with the question jar, Kelly. All right. I feel like... I mean, a queen bee, my instinct is is somehow more glamorous. Do they both work mostly the same way? Like, they, they both have to, like, give birth to the entire colony and then they just kind of, like, hang out? I think so. And they throw at any others that might become queens. Right. Like, and this, this is true for both? Uh, I don't know enough about ants, but I, I happened to learn a lot more than I was expecting to learn about bees this summer because my parents' neighbor uh, has got an apiary going on. That's cool as hell. Yeah, and literally as he was showing me it, because I was fucking stoked. I was like, yeah, you got to show me this shit. <laughs> and as he's showing it, uh, a stray swarm actually started forming around, and he uh, had to go catch the queen in the swarm so he could transfer it to a new hive and then add to his collection. So it was pretty cool. And then he gave me some mead that he made with the honey he gets from his bees. So, like, fucking all-around great day. Got to see an apiary want to get my own apiary going on now. Yeah, And absolutely. I got to drink some good mead. That's so cool. Do you guys have you guys seen those videos online from the this girl? Her I know exactly who you're talking about. Texas Bee Works. Yeah, yeah. Another yeah. great day of saving the bees. Is she the one? I, um, yeah, she, yeah, seen, she just cool like shot. goes in with her bare hands and she's like. So basically, people call her when they have like swarming bees or like bees that have created a hive in a um, like a place that's inconvenient for humans. I do think that. If if I had to make this decision, I would also choose to be the queen bee. Just seeing how sad and dejected and aimless the bees look when they don't have their queen, mm. I think it would make me feel good to have to have that level of uh, of adoration. That that amount of simping, if you will, to put it in, exactly to put it in Zoomer terms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would like to be simped. I think I would go with the queen bee because I feel like it'd be more likely to get the opportunity to hang out with cool Instagram influencers because I I think I would still be a relentless clout chaser if I was a queen bee mm-hmm. and a queen ant is probably more likely to get I you just get a lot more respectful treatment even the ants are like really important to e- e- ecosystems etc um, like I've heard it said that like if ants died we'd be just completely fucked but I think it's also kind of true of bees I mean, anyway, yeah. <laughs> in practice, though, the you know the people are all about like protecting bees and having apiaries and like making friends with the bees and uh, ants. Like, if the ant hill is in the way, I think you're just way more likely to have someone just completely destroy it via. Yeah, you usually tend to boot fuck the thing I know is a garbage child. <laughs> is that an ant hill? Boom, boot fucked. <laughs> I think I see the ant as more of a blue collar. I, I actually wanted to make like a proletariat joke where I'm like, why are we uh, why are we trying to be the royalty anyways? We should be part of the proletariat uprising. Yeah, I think <laughs> the ant is the people's insect, but I, I think even even in the upper echelons of ant power, I think you're still at a more grassroots level of existence. Uh, you're literally like grassroots. Yeah. Um, and whereas the bees, it's like, you know, they can they can fly. They they they, they have a little bit more. Uh, I don't know freedom i guess you'd say um so yeah i i, I think I, I would prefer to be the bee but i think i respect the ant more the ant queen is the polish lithuanian commonwealth to the holy, <laughs> holy roman empire <laughs> i hope there's like three people that understand that <laughs> i know I, I like that idea of i respect the ant but i want to be the bee it's like you're working really hard and you're really important and that's Good for you. I'm really happy mm-hmm. for you being an ant. Mm-hmm. Cuz like the it's, ant the ant is the people's insect, but I am the kind of person that like you give me the opportunity to be a royalty, I'll probably just flip and do it. That that <laughs> sounds like one of those things that you'd see on one of those Instagram grind set influencer sites Oh have, god, like, yeah, absolutely. Over like tiger pictures. It's like people it's like people respect the ant, but people want to be the bee. Um, <laughs> 100%. Oh yeah. It's got to be a really big close up of a bi then for some reason, <laughs> just a super close up like a macro lens to the extreme. And I'm I've been really into grind setup. I told you guys about um, the importance of rising and grinding because I've I've yeah, got a nice not. ten minute spiel prepared. You <laughs> Are you ready to tell us about your the 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 real question is though before you start on I need to ask you the most important question. 
Is it an alpha grind set or is it a sigma grind set? It's more of a ligma grind set. <laughs> 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 uh, fuck. But, um, I think we should just cut the show here. Like, I don't think we're gonna get. I don't that's, think we're gonna that's, top that's that. A, that's a pretty good, pretty good topper right there. <laughs>